UNC is an indigenous state-of-the-art system which has been developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization with Center for Airborne Systems as the nodal agency. The AEWNC detects threats well before they can inflict any damage and provides an enviable advantage in both defensive and offensive operations. The primary sensor of the AEWNC system is the AESA-based primary radar for detection and tracking of targets in the surveillance coverage defined by the operator. The electronic scanning ability provides faster updates of the targets with adaptive beam scheduling and has a capability to compensate for the aircraft roll. The AEWNC system detects and tracks targets in air-to-air -air and air-to-sea surface mode. High speed, low flying threats as well as maneuvering targets are tracked accurately with features such as full track and high precision modes. The secondary surveillance radar or the identification friend of four system interrogates the target in the surveillance volume and processes the replies from the transponders of the target to declare it either as a friend or a foe. The electronic support measure on board the AEWNC intercepts the electronic emissions in the surveillance volume and determines its direction of arrival with high accuracy to provide the electronic order of battle to the mission operator. The AEWNC intercepts, monitors and analyzes communication signals and estimates the direction of the emitter. This is achieved by the onboard communication support measure. The complete and reliable situational awareness of both land and sea during day and night is provided to the operator on the OWS during the mission. There are five reconfigurable front-facing operator workstations which act as the interface between the AEWNC system and the mission crew. The AEWNC is equipped with a self-protection suite consisting of missile approach warning system covering the entire threat volume, radar warning receiver with 360 degree coverage and a countermeasure dispensing system programmable to dispense shaft and flares. Intercept commands are relayed to friendly fighters through a set of five UHF radios capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground secure communication. Embraer 145 is a reliable and a proven platform. The operational range and endurance are improved even further by the air-to-air -air refueling capability. The feature of air-to-air -air refueling is a first of its kind on such an aircraft. The AEWNC operations are supported by a host of ground equipment. These include the Mission Planning and Analysis Station, Ground Exploitation Station, Operator Training Stations, Wideband Ground Analysis Station and the Automated Test Equipment. The AEWNC is a major element in the network-centric warfare using data link segments like SATCOM and C-BAN. The AEWNC ensures full connectivity to relevant forces in real time. Talking about time, let's rewind the clock. And it was in the year 2002 that a need for an indigenous cost-effective AEWNC system based on an executive jet was projected by the Indian Air Force. The contract for platform with Messrs Embraer was finalized in August 2008. While the structural modifications were underway at Brazil, system design and development kept the scientists at DRDO occupied. 
the first flight at Brazil after modification was a major milestone which paved way for other activities to follow. 22nd of August 2012 witnessed the arrival of the aircraft at Cabs Bangalore. From then on, installation and integration was the order of the day. Attention to details. Close supervision at all levels. Remedial measures for roadblocks. Out of the box solutions. Synergy and teamwork. And more importantly, the determination and the will to achieve the set objectives ensured that the project entered the execution and flight test phase. This system of systems posed a very unique and different challenge for the testers too. Close to 500 test sorties under various test conditions were executed to evaluate system performance. Detailed debriefs and critical data analysis brought out the system capabilities and certain shortcomings during development. The quest to realize a reliable system was no easy task. The road ahead was not a smooth ride and was a challenging one. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Team AWNC has left no stone unturned to ensure that the project AWNC is successfully transformed as Product AWNC. It was a proud moment for Diadio and the entire nation when AWNC was inducted into the Indian Air Force in its initial operational configuration on 14th February 2017. Now, one of the advanced and indigenously built AWNC system is operational and available to defend the Indian skies. AWNC is a critical military asset for any country and is indeed a true force multiplier that will upgrade our nation's air defense capability. Make in India, the initiative for self-reliance forms the core of establishing a strong and reliable military capability in-house. AWNC is another feather in the cap towards this initiative of Make in India. The dream of AWNC is now a reality. With the success, India enters a select league of nations. India, our motherland, the mother of us all.